Hello, I'm Scott Hale, a senior data scientist at the Oxford Internet Institute and director of the Social Data Science Program. I'm excited to tell you a bit about the MSc today. The course is really designed uh, to confront two challenges that have, have arisen. The first is the uh, vast increase in the amount of data that's available about human behavior and how we can use that data to understand social science questions and human behavior, uh, societal behavior more generally. And the second then is the increasing amount of computation uh, power that's available, new methods, new computational uh, infrastructure that we can use to make sense of this data because of course much of the uh, data is simply uh, text, video, uh, free text, uh, images, and we need to bring new methods to be able to make sense of this data. So we're excited to offer this degree and think it will attract students from a wide variety of backgrounds. We're looking for students who have some of the core quantitative skills already set, so understand things like matrix multiplication um, and say some introductory calculus, although we'll also be offering review materials for these uh, over the summer prior to the, the start of the course. And we're open to students uh, demonstrating this quantitative knowledge in a variety of ways, not just uh, formal courses. And what we're really looking for are students who are wanting to challenge themselves in this domain to be able to tackle these new methodological questions about how to deal uh, with data of this nature, uh, often unstructured uh, and often at large scale and be able to challenge themselves in the methods uh, to either create new methods or adapt uh, existing methods to be able to analyze that data and then look to apply that uh, in order to answer social science questions. And then what we're going to be trying to do is extend uh, those core skills and so able to teach things like machine learning, teach the introduction to scripting and programming. And so we're not expecting students to come in straight away um, and be able to, to program or, or write complex scripts or complete machine learning tasks. We can teach um, all of those uh, aspects and uh, what we're trying to do in this degree is combine both of those technical skills as well as uh, teaching some of the wider social science uh, narratives and theories that uh, accompany this. The course is composed of four components. There are foundation papers, intensive papers, option papers, and then a thesis. The first of these foundation papers are designed to cultivate some of the core skills in the discipline to teach key social science theories, key methodological concepts uh, to ground the whole of, of the study. The second type are uh, intensive papers. These teach core methodological and technical skills, in particular uh, programming and for data capture and cleaning, uh, being able to scale analysis to large data sets, as well as the fundamentals of machine learning. The third component are option papers, and these really give students a choice to be able to choose to get more in-depth knowledge in different parts of the field. Some of these will be more focused on the social science aspects of the course, things like data science of government and politics, uh, or sociological analysis, sociogenomics. Uh, and others will be more methodological focused. There'll be things on natural language processing or time series analysis. The final component is a thesis. This is really the capstone of the MSc experience and it provides an opportunity to complete a research project, uh, gather empirical data, analyze that data, and be able to answer a social science question. This will provide opportunities to really tackle a lot of the challenges uh, in completing empirical research that are present uh, both in academia and industry. As you may know, the Oxford Internet Institute has two MSc degrees, uh, one in social data science and one in social science of the internet. The social data science degree is really aimed at building new methodological insights and adapting methods uh, to be able to better analyze uh, both structured and unstructured data about human behavior. We anticipate that students completing this degree will go on uh, for further study in a variety of disciplines, uh, but particularly more technical disciplines and maybe publishing their findings in computer science conferences or statistical journals and new interdisciplinary venues. We also anticipate that those going on to industry 
will find themselves in more data intensive roles, whether that's in a data team or a business analytics uh, team and uh, roles of that nature. Thank you for watching this overview of the MSc in Social Data Science. I encourage you to check out our website where you'll find more information, including the option to apply for both the MSc and the DPhil program in one application, a joint MSc plus DPhil or one plus three, and also the ability to sign up for email alerts as application deadlines approach. If you have further questions, please do get in contact. Thank you.